Hi there. I've been using the program called Jamulus now for a few weeks. It helps me jam with my friends over the internet at very low latency. But one of the limitations I noticed right away was trying to get my you know, virtual instruments and my virtual amps to route over from Pro Tools into Jamulus. Now, most people probably don't need to use it this way, but I wanted to do some things like actually recording people in, using it more as a writing tool and a recording tool. So I just wanted to go over a few of the ways that I was able to do this, and you know maybe it'll help you in the future. Okay, so I have Pro Tools open here. So the first thing I want to show is kind of um, a way that I do it right now, just because it, it's the simplest way, uh, but it may not work for your interface. So I just wanted to start with this in case you do have like a bigger interface. Uh, there's some some hardware options you can do. So. Right now, I'm just showing you what interface I have. I'm running the Claret uh, 8 Pre-X, and it's um, you know it built in 8 in, 8 out right on the interface. You also have 8 add-ins and SPDIF. So the way that I've been doing this is I've been actually hooking up an RCA cable to my SPDIF input or my output into the input. And so what I'm going to do is create an actual physical loopback, um, and you'll see why in a second. So with that set up, uh, let me show you what I have here. So right now I just have a talkback mic channel here, channel one. And uh, all I have to do is go to my sends here and just send it to output SPDIF right here. And then this signal now is going to loop back into my SPDIF in, which I will use in Jamulus as the input. So let me boot up in Jamulus here. Okay, um, in the settings for Jamulus, you could choose input channel SPDIF1 and SPDIF2 coming in, and then just output back to your normal, you know, sound card one and two. So that's really simple setup. If I connect over to my server here, um, my voice is coming in there. So, and I'm controlling this from Pro Tools. So if you notice, see if I can get it next to here. Hello, 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 hello. You can see as I change my volume over here, it's it's changing the volume into, into Jamulus. Now in this setup, I usually like to set it to pre-fader mode on the, on the send. That way down here at the bottom, I can adjust my own mix while it doesn't affect, you know, the people in Jamulus getting my signal. So I, I recommend doing that just so everyone has their own mix. And then as you're messing with yours, they don't have to readjust every time. Um, and so say you have like a, you know, another channel that's going to have, you know, your, your bass or guitar or something like that. You can do the same thing. You just can just copy this send over. Uh, if you're sending in stereo mode, you can just pan it here as well for people. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the first uh, method that I recommend. Now, if you're using just like a, a two-channel card or you're doing something, you know, you don't have the, all the inputs and output capabilities. Um, the next option I'm going to show you is using what's called a loopback software. Um, now, for Mac, you can get loopback. Uh, it's Mac only, and uh, I'll kind of show you what that looks like right now. Let me just turn off Jamulus here. So this is a loopback software. I've already configured a couple devices on here, but I'll kind of show you what I, what's going on. So what you can do, it's kind of a virtual software router. So you can route audio out of a program into another virtual sound card, which can be used inside of programs like Jamulus or Zoom or you know any third-party program. Uh, right now, you, I've, I've added a device, and then I've added a source, and I just set Pro Tools. You can set the program right here that's running. Uh, it will start up by saying mute when capturing. Just uncheck that and make sure your volume is up. And so what this is, is I've created a device called Pro Tools Out, which is going to show up in my Jamulus as another device. And then I'm routing my Pro Tools software to that device. So that's that. And then in Jamulus, you're just going to go to settings. Under Instead of picking my, my interface under devices, I'm going to go down... And I have a bunch of them, so it's a little confusing to look at here. But I'm going to go to um, Pro Tools out. 
which is the device I created. And then I'm going to route that output back to my interface. So Pro Tools out, one and two, into the output channel of the focus right, one and two. Now, when you're doing Pro Tools, uh, sending it over here, I like to keep the audio channels as stereo. That way, if I put any kind of reverb on in Pro Tools or, you know, I'm playing back a mix, they're going to get the left and right channels. Um, I've noticed that keeping my audio quality on low has been fine for, you know, keeping the latency and the bandwidth usage lower. Uh, and I kind of keep my network buffer delay at 5.3. I usually don't mess too much with that unless I notice any issues. Okay. So let me connect back. All right, so yeah, there, I'm getting signal right in. Didn't have to do anything else with the, the mix yet. So let's check what I got going on here. So yeah, in this, this setup that I just showed you, we're, we don't even need these SPDIF outputs. It should just be routing the output of your Pro Tools directly into Jamulus. And that's kind of the simplest setup uh, for doing the loopback. Uh, if you're going to try to do any kind of recording back into Pro Tools, this setup isn't really going to work as well. Um, I've kind of had to do a combination of the two things that we just went over to get that to work, which I'll show you next. All right, the last thing I want to show you is setting up your Pro Tools to accept input back from Jamulus. Uh, it's kind of a little bit more of a pain to set up, but... What you have to use is what's called the Pro Tools Aggregate I.O. device. Um, so you may not know where that is, but if you actually, the first step is if you just search for Audio MIDI Setup Program, this is on your Mac, um, you'll see a Pro Tools Aggregate I.O. I believe that installs when you install Pro, Pro Tools. It may, I don't know if it's optional, so you may want to check to make sure you have it installed. Um, so what this will let you do is actually, if you click into here, you'll see all these other devices that have been added, you know, whether from loopback or from your actual interfaces on your computer, even your built-in Mac uh, microphone and things like that. Um, so what I did is I created a device in my loopback. I'll show you right now. Uh, so I, I created a device called Jamulus Output. And so what I did was I connected Jamulus Program Source back into its own device. So what you can do is actually check mark this uh, Jamulus output as a Pro Tool aggregate I.O. And what, what that does is this you, you're combining a bunch of different interfaces into one aggregate interface for Pro Tools. Now, you might want to do this with Pro Tools closed. So uh, I've already set it up. It won't crash, but it, it will complain in Pro Tools if you do change these in real time while you have it open because you're changing the inputs and outputs of the device. Um, so I right now I have Jamulus output checked, and that's just two inputs. That's all I need to worry about. Um, so what that does is I've already changed it in here, but you'd go to your, after you have that set up, you come back to Pro Tools, change your playback engine. You're going to, under the playback engine, instead of your focus right or whatever your interface is, you're going to use the Pro Tools aggregate I.O. So once you have that switched, you're going to... Then see in your interface inputs on the channel, you'll be able to see that Jamulus output device that I set up. So now when I, let's start up Jamulus here, start a session. Okay, I do have a drum, drum loop coming in from this second uh, person on, on Jamulus. And I didn't mention it before, but you wanna just keep yourself muted in, in Jamulus. Uh, so that you're not looping yourself back into Pro Tools. You'll be able to monitor yourself directly from Pro Tools and then Jamulus as well. So now if I hit record on this, yeah. So right now you hear this drum beat coming in from Jamulus. You know, I can adjust that level and pan it. So that would be like creating your mix from all your remote people, but I'm feeding that back into Pro Tools. So what's really cool is I can create a new track for my vocal mic or my bass or guitar and then I can record that all right into Pro Tools together. So we're getting that into this channel right here. Okay, I'm going to stop that. 
Yeah, so that's a little bit of a different setup, but what this allows you to do is actually record back in. And the way that I had it set up, uh, you know, if, if I was going to do this again, I would probably use my first method of using my SPDIF outs just so that I can route my mix to people and then this, uh, you know, recording back to myself without looping it back to Jamulus again. If you have it set up the way I do right now, while you're recording, just keep it muted and then you can, you know, play it back for people afterwards. Don't don't have it unmuted while they're playing or they're going to hear themselves back, you know, delayed a uh, second time. Now, just uh, a word of warning, uh, using the Pro Tools aggregate I.O. is not always the best solution. Uh, I have noticed sometimes adding some, some extra latency and some more processing power on your computer. Uh, so if you do have a bigger interface like I do with more inputs and outputs, you could actually do uh, do it another way. So the way that I've been doing it uh, with my interface is I, you know, set my playback device back to my, my focus, right? So it's back on my normal interface. So now uh, back to loopback, uh, you keep everything the same setup. So you still have a Jamulus device that you're sending the output of Jamulus into this output channel. And then what you can do is over in this far right section is you can loop it back in to, um, well, you can, you can send it right to your, one of your focus, right outputs or whatever device you have. If you have extra outputs, let's just say, um, we're going to use, uh, let's just say three and four. So right now it's sending Jamulus out to three and four of my focus, right interface. So you could physically plug a cable out of three and four back into another input on your device. Or uh, if, you're, if your device is like mine, it, it has a loopback ability. So on my, um, let's see, if I scroll down on my output routing, I can actually set a loopback, software loopback in my interface from the playback of three and four. And so what that will do is three and four will now come into uh, three and four input. So in Pro Tools, I can set this input to input three and four, and then I should be getting my output of Jamulus, you know, doing that kind of a setup. So I that will work a little bit better than trying to mess around Pro Tools aggregate I/O. Um, but I just wanted to show you both options in case you know you're you're messing around with it and have you know not that all that I/O capability. And another thing I didn't mention before was I I'm using Spidif uh, out just because I want to keep the signal digital. So it will send out digital and then back in digital. So I'm not doing another conversion from digital to analog and then analog back to digital. So, you know, in theory, the, the quality should be a little bit better by doing it that way. Plus, I don't use my SPDIF for anything else. Uh, I don't have any other gear that uses SPDIF right now. So it's kind of just sitting there not being used anyways. So I, I just keep it plugged in as a loopback, and it's just a lot easier to to do this type of routing with that just physically plugged in. I don't have to mess around all this, the software and make sure that's routing properly. Um, but yeah, I hope this kind of clears up some questions you may have when trying to use this. There are other softwares like Black Hole is, is another Mac-based. Uh, I think I believe that one is open source and it's free. Uh, but I haven't really messed around too much with that. If you're on PC, you can do something similar to this with, um, if you use Reaper as your as your DAW, it has a, what's called reroute, and it acts just like what I showed you with, with Loopback, where you can you know use that device in other programs and whatnot. Um, maybe I'll look into some more Windows-based solutions for people. I know it's a little bit more limited versus what Mac uh, has available right now. So... Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, if you have any more questions, please post them below. And you know, I'm going to keep trying to create more of these videos. I, I may do the next one on Logic, maybe try Reaper. So if you just subscribe to my channel, uh, you'll start to see those videos pop in soon. All right, thank you.